Hey traders, in this video we're going to dive into gold, but I'm going to take you into a different way that you can understand or measure uh, the way in which this oversold dip on the daily time frame can turn into potentially a trigger on the one hour, on the 60 minute, and we're going to talk about using some anchored volume weighted average price level. So let's start off with the chart that kicks off the whole conversation, and that is the daily time frame of gold futures. Now. One of the things that we want to keep in mind is the fact that gold is in chop. Now I measure that chop based on the way in which the 34 exponential moving average is communicating the structure of the market, bullish, bearish, or neutral, or chop, however you want to look at this. The distance from the high to low is what differentiates, by the way, whether we're in a choppy market or whether we're consolidating. So this is definitely chop. It's not quite a downtrend and it has not taken out the lows as you can see from back in November. So I would not consider this a downtrend. However, if it does, and we start to go what I call double red on this particular daily time frame on this chart, then this would be something I would not be as interested in taking. So what's the validation for this trade? The fact that we haven't made lower lows and this is not a downtrend by my using the 8, 13, 21, and 34 EMAs quite yet. However, for traders who just don't, you know, simply don't want to just buy this low, although that's perfectly valid, if there was anything I was going to, I would think about doing uh, here would be looking at the uh, GLD, GLD as opposed to full size GC futures or even the MGC micro, but you can look at the GLD and I would say go out to the 8, of June and look at, you know, I, I think you could easily look at the 165, 165 calls. All right. Now, again, some traders may not be interested in stepping into this market, you know, with fear that we just could keep heading lower. Well, that's what stops are for, right? But if you like a little bit more of a trade that would utilize some momentum, here's another thing you can do. All right. And this is what I'll often do on the one hour chart. Now I would prefer if this one hour chart were not double red and maybe over time we will see this turn into a yellow choppy market. But what I'm going to do for now is simply look at some near term highs and lows and start to anchor some volume weighted average price levels. Now again, this is not ideal, but it's something that could over the shape, you know, over the course of the next few uh, sessions, you know, turn into something we could look at as a market that's consolidated and is ready for a break out through the confines of the volume weighted average price. So that's definitely something we could consider. So then at this point, it would make sense to think about a move through 167.33, even 167.10 for potential bullish momentum. Again, I'd like to see if we continue to move sideways, settle down on all the selling, because as we're settling down on the selling in this area, we're also sorting it out on this time frame in this area. So that's how that that's how that syncs up, all right? So it's a very early early look. It's not ideal on the 60 minute yet. All right, whether you're looking at the GC, which is what I would look at if you're going to play the GLD, do the measuring on the GC futures and then execute the idea on MGC micro gold futures or on the GLD gold ETF. But that's what I'm looking at. And this is actually a, a really interesting oversold level where the risk is the lowest, not because of cost, <clears throat> but because if we take out this November low, I would give the market X percent of the premium that I've paid, a little bit of wiggle below that low, and then I would call it a day and consider that oversold support level broken. So it's, it's a relatively low risk zone for gold. And I get a lot of questions about gold. Now in the premium video, I'm gonna dive into some other commodities that I think uh, are, well, in my opinion, better ones to keep an eye on. Uh, copper would be one of them, corn, beans, British pound, all I get a lot of questions on gold. There are other markets that have much better bullish structure in this reflation environment. All right, gang, hope that helps. I'll see you in the next update.